So today I'm actually back home with my mom and we're gonna make Nilaga. Filipino dish. It's beef nilaga. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> What's good everyone? So I'm actually home for a week with my family and I'm super stoked to be able to uh, cook something with my mom and share it with you guys here today. So we decided on cooking uh, nilaga and my mom is going to show us uh, the way she does it. So tell me what is nilaga? Okay, nilaga is like a soup, right? It's got vegetable, it's also got meat, so it's complete meal. Mm -hmm. And what do you usually put in nilaga? Nilaga, different people in the Philippines, they use different kind of meat. We use the beef. When is your favorite time to eat nilaga? Uh, actually, there is no, no time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when is your favorite time? Over there, everybody's hungry every time. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's no time. Over there, they're always hungry. But where can you eat that nilaga? Hold where? On. Where can you eat oh, that? Shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm telling you. I'm just gonna use it. Fuck it. We're just okay. Using. The best time to eat nilaga <laughs> is when it's rainy days because okay. the weather is cold. So everybody wants to eat soup. So when it's cold, that's when they want to eat something warm. Mm. So that is why it's always good to eat that on rainy days. Because if they eat that during summertime, they'll be sweating. <laughs> and, and they don't want to eat that when it's hot. And they don't want to eat that. And that's what we're doing today. <laughs> it's it's yes. fucking like 90 degrees outside. 100 degree maybe. <laughs> so tell me what your ingredients are for your Nilaga recipe. Over here, we, we will use the beef shank mm -hmm. and bone. What Soup kind bone. of bone? And then we're gonna add the onion. We're also gonna have cabbage, bok choy, potato, green onion, green beans, salt and pepper. And taste it. Mm -hmm. And then the final final, after you put the vegetable, that's when you put the fish sauce. Fish sauce, it will give a good flavor. So we have to have that. So tell me what the first step is to make nilaga. First is you have to soak the meat, the beef shank. Why do you soak the it first? The reason why I soak it is just like washing the meat and mm -hmm. getting rid of the, the coloring if they have mm -hmm. or the blood. Got it. So we have to soak it at least five minutes or till the color, you know, get clear. Mm -hmm. Okay, now after we washed it and clean it and soak it, now we're gonna put it in the boiling water. Mm -hmm. We're gonna boil it like five minutes or so. The reason for that is we want to get rid of that foam, gunk. Mm -hmm. So we need to, when the gunk is all out, the foam, mm -hmm. then we're gonna uh, take it out from the pot and then we're gonna wash the meat, wash it good, and then you put a new water in the pot. Mm -hmm. And then you put the beef shank, that's when you add the onion, peppercorn, salt and pepper Got it. and you boil it there and then you simmer till the meat is tender the other reason why i have to wash the beef shank or the meat is because first of all you want the water clear and then if the water is clear and clean that will give you a good taste of mm. the broth for today what we're going to do is we're just going to get up to the fourth step and that's where we're going to boil the meat the second time with the peppercorns and onions till they're tender. Mm -hmm. uh, mainly because um, we're actually gonna have a party tomorrow. We're gonna have a barbecue and have everyone over. We don't have a ton of time to shoot the whole video tomorrow with everything going on. So we kind of just want to do this for uh, first half. That way um, it's ready to go. The meat is tender and that's kind of what takes the longest. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna finish up um, the rest tomorrow with right. adding like the vegetables. And right. Cool. Mm -hmm. Cool? That's right. Cool. All right. All right, so we're back day two, and uh, last night we pretty much got up to the point where we were going to uh, let the meat simmer. And how long did you let it simmer for? An hour and a half. Okay, and then we pretty much, it, the time just really depends on when the meat is... Tender. Yeah, tender, okay. Why are you wearing makeup today? 
because I took a shower. <laughs> So we put it back on the stove. Now that the meat's come back up to a simmer, what's the next step we're gonna do? Wait, my nose is itchy. <laughs> the next step we're gonna do is take out the bone. Mm -hmm. After we take out the bone, and then uh, we're gonna put potato. Okay. And then how long do you let the potatoes cook for? Probably uh, one minute. Just one minute? Yeah, because it's not that much potato in there. And then after that, we're gonna put all the vegetable. You don't wanna overcook the vegetable. Mm -hmm. You want it like uh, crunchy, is that the right word? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe another two minutes. What we're probably gonna do first though is um, before we add the potatoes, we're gonna taste the broth first. And if it's not um, the flavor that we want, we can add a little bit more salt and pepper. But I think the last thing we forgot is after we add the vegetables. Right. And then you're gonna put the fish sauce. Mm -hmm. That's the final. Got it. And then that's where we're gonna do one last taste test. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, should be done. Put the nila guys down, we're gonna put it in a bowl. So we can eat, and then I'm gonna prepare rice, and then I'm gonna make the dipping sauce. So you dip the meat, like it's gonna be a calamundine, it's like those little lime in the backyard, mm -hmm. and red pepper, like Asian red chili pepper, and then we're gonna put the fish sauce or soy sauce, whichever mm -hmm. you want. And then when we eat it, we're gonna dip the meat in the dipping sauce with rice. So there it is, uh, Grandma's Nilaga or yours? Yes, it's Grandma's Nilaga. It's a copycat. I remember when I was younger, the way that I would eat it was, I usually just put the rice inside, yeah, but... This time we're gonna put the soup. Okay. Like this. Mm. All right, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Pretty good. Good flavor. The meat's nice and tender. The dipping sauce is really good. Mm-hmm. I got the fish sauce with uh, chili pepper. Mm. I love that the meat's really tender and um, the broth is, how do you say it? It tastes... Tastes clean yeah. and flavorful. Yeah, it has good beef flavor. It's, uh, but it's like a smooth clean, I don't know, almost like a, not like a pho broth, but... You know, it's like a nilaga broth, right? <laughs> yeah, there it is. You know why it's good? Because I add those uh, soup bone. Yeah, right? yeah, I could definitely gives taste it. that. Mm -hmm. And then um, the fish sauce is in there. The vegetables are really nice and crunchy. Um, I really loved it. Is there another meat that you would put in here besides beef shank? Yeah, uh, you can use uh, pork spare ribs mm -hmm. cut up in pieces. Or you can also use the neck bone, mm -hmm. pork. And sometimes they use chicken. Any meat you can use. Yeah. yeah. Nice. In this soup PJ, you can also add some noodles. We oh, really? boil the noodles and we call it mami, mm -hmm. you know the yellow one in the mm. Philippines and they sell it in the Philippines store. You boil it and then you just pour it there. Mm -hmm. So it's mami soup with nilaga. You only gonna have a bite or me too? Yeah, I can have a bite. So they see it. So they see it. Mmm, mm. ooh la la. It tastes <laughs> really good. Right? Huh. This is really good. Your mom's yeah. cooking, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you for teaching me how to cook this. It's something that I've actually wanted to make back home. And I remember last time I came home, we wanted to try and right. take some time to make it, but we didn't get a chance to film it. So yeah. thank you. I want to do more videos like this. So right. hopefully we can find ways to uh, make money to uh, come back home more often and shoot more videos just like this. All right. Yeah, I had fun. We can cook different kind of Filipino dish next time. Yeah, we'll yeah. We'll make a plan. Yeah. 
If you guys want to see more Filipino dishes with me and my mom, be sure to leave a comment below and maybe a dish that you want to see us cook. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more videos just like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll post weekly videos on all things good in food, my life, and business. Peace. Peace.